Chinese Vice President Wang Tishan has just concluded his visit to Russia and Belarus. Beijing has once again sent clear signals of its determination to further open up to the world, enhance full-scale cooperation and achieve common prosperity across the Eurasian region. It's Wang's first foreign trip since becoming Vice President in March, and it comes less than half a month before China shares the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit in the eastern coastal city of Qingdao. Both of his visits were to Eurasian countries, namely Russia and Belarus. One is an SEO member and the other an SEO observer, and they both maintain close friendships with China and are key participants in the Belt and Road Initiative. While meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Wang Qishan said Chinese President Xi Jinping looks forward to meeting Putin again to jointly develop the future course of bilateral relations, as well as the SEO. In Minsk, Wang told Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko that Xi looks forward to his attendance at the SEO summit, saying China appreciates Belarus's involvement as an SEO observer and will continue to support Minsk in playing a constructive role in the organization's development. Wang's two-nation visit has demonstrated China's desire to enhance pragmatic cooperation within the SCO and to contribute to long-term regional stability and prosperity. As Wang put it, China and Russia respect and trust each other. They cooperate on the basis of equality and enjoy mutual understanding and support on major international affairs, setting a model for bilateral relations. Putin said that China-Russia cooperation serves as an important stabilizer in the world, as the two countries maintain close communication and coordination as well as mutual support on major regional and global issues. Speaking at this year's St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, Wang emphasised that China will unswervingly implement the opening up strategy, and he welcomed other countries to share any opportunities, such as the Belt and Road Initiative, a new platform for international cooperation. While providing a Chinese solution to the challenges the world is facing, the Chinese Vice President called for global unity, both in resisting protectionism and in safeguarding stable international economic order. Wang added that no country should blame others for its problems. Countries should pursue development paths that suit their own realities and work with other countries to reach common goals. In Belarus, Wang pointed out that Beijing and Minsk should integrate their interests and combine their economic development plans more closely. By aligning the Belt and Road Initiative and the Eurasian Economic Union, many people can already see how China's further opening up could have huge benefits for the Eurasian region.